Ireland, Rugby Union has a new lease of life. Investment and sponsorships have brought about positive change. The return of a former coach in Harvey's for Ree also bringing in renewed vigour. Yeah, I'm really excited um, with the new journey at Boland. Um, we, we've got a tight group of players, they really care about each other and um, I feel that we've got everything in our hands to be successful. Um, it's going to be tough, it's not going to be an easy road, but if you work hard, anything is possible. Um, we've made a lot of commitments on the weekend to each other and we can, if we can stick to it and live up to it, then I'm pretty sure we will see the results in about 12 months' time. Boasting over 200 clubs, the Borland has a wide net of players to choose from. Playing in the top tier of South African rugby has them all excited. Like um, the, the Canterbury um, CEO said, that last year the jersey was clean. Um, so we made a step in the right direction already by winning the Curry Cup without sponsors and then getting big sponsors on board. Um, I think it's a good thing um, because everywhere you go in club rugby in the Borland, there's a young guy or a club rugby player that says boldly enough that he's better than the Cavalier playing there right now. And for me, I never feel intimidated because that's how you keep competition clean and healthy. Former Springbok Geo Aplon is on the board at Borland. Being part of this whole thing where this, this ship has started sailing, it's awesome to be on the ship. And I think it's going to take hard work to get it, to keep it going. And that's the first thing. But hopefully, if I can put it like this, if you see this ship, it will be a sign of hope. It will be a sign of opportunity. And hopefully, the Bolan Cavaliers, that's that vehicle, can, can bring that hope into the communities. Coach Furry opens his tenure at the helm of the Cavaliers this Friday when he faces his old team, the Cheetahs, in a SA Cup match in Bloemfontein. Justin Ford, Cape Town.